Hey everyone, welcome back to Wix Fix. I hope you're having a fantastic day. My name is Ryan, and a few weeks ago, I released a video where one of my friends came on who has no web design knowledge or Wix knowledge, and I asked him to try to build a website here in Wix Studio. The point of that video was to see if a brand new user without web design or Wix experience could build a really nice website inside of Wix Studio. And for someone without, again, web design knowledge or Wix knowledge, I think he did a fantastic job. Now I did give him like a 20 minute spiel before we pressed record, so I could teach him how to add elements and how to edit elements, but I did not teach him all of the advanced features built into Wix Studio. If he found it on his own, like he did with the cells, I was going to allow it. And I did end up helping him a little bit on the mobile breakpoint with the cells, but everything that he basically did for the most part was completely unguided. I just kind of helped him helped point out a few things here and there. And I think he did a fantastic job. So if you are a new user and you maybe don't have web design experience or knowledge, or you're somewhat new to Wix and you're trying to build a website here in Wix Studio, I think this video is gonna be very helpful. I'm gonna be walking you through my thought process and just process for what I would do to fix the website. Without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right in. So here's the website that my friend made. And again, I think he did a fantastic job without any prior experience and just a little 20 minute run through right before we pressed record. But let's go ahead and think about how we want to fix this. Firstly, I think he did a fantastic job by adding cells here. Um, but what I will say is I think this section needs to be a bit larger. So I'm actually gonna use the breadcrumbs here underneath the action bar and I'm gonna select the section. Another way to do so is to come over to the layers panel and just select the section here. And I'm gonna make this section a lot larger. Let's see what like 900 pixel looks like. Um, that might be a little bit too big. Let's do about like 800. Okay, I think that looks pretty good. The next thing I want to make a note of here is this shadow on the image kind of seems clipped. You can see like a very harsh edge here. And also the card element here seems a little clipped here as well. So to fix the card, what I want to do is actually click on the image and I actually just want to reset the image proportions. And now you can see the card is no longer clipped. However, the image just has a shadow clipped. So there's nothing we can really do about that. So what I'm gonna do is instead of having this just be a floating image, I'm actually gonna make this a smidge bigger and I'm going to send this to the left. That way it just makes it look like the shadow is going off the page and it's not being clipped like at how it actually is. But now that we have this image aligned to the left, I don't really want it docked to the top. So what I'm gonna do is just align to vertical center and that's gonna move it down just like that. And I think that looks really good. For this stack over here, I want to center this stack as well. So what I want to do is actually scroll down and you can see it's docked to the top, but if we just press align to center, it's gonna place it right here and I think that looks pretty clean. Now for this text right here and the size of this image, I think they're a little bit disproportionate. So I'm gonna change this font size to like 72 to make it a little bit bigger. I'm also going to grab this text paragraph text element here, and I'm gonna make sure it's aligned to the left fully because there was a little bit of margin. So we're gonna go ahead and remove that. And then I'm also going to change the color of this paragraph to like a lighter gray or like a mid gray. That way it's not straight black. And that way this heading text here that we have kind of stands out a little bit more. The next thing I want to do is work on this button. I will say, I think he made the button size a little big. So what I'm gonna do is make this like 16 pixels. I'm gonna choose a, a bolder font. And for the size, I'm gonna just bring it in just a little bit. 136 and a height of 48. I think that looks pretty clean. But now you'll also notice that the button and the paragraph element are basically right up against each other. And there's not too much spacing in between the heading and the paragraph. So what I want to do is actually just grab the stack, which you can do that by selecting the space in between the elements. Or you can, again, use the 
breadcrumbs or use the layers panel to select it. Then what I want to do is come over to item spacing and this is going to adjust the spacing between all the items. So whatever I put in here, it's gonna apply it to this spacing and this spacing here equally. So if I actually switch this over to a pixel value and I place in 16, you're gonna notice that right here, we now have 16 pixels and right here we also have 16 pixels. Another way to kind of adjust spacing is you can actually just drag this out, but you'll notice that this spacing up here doesn't change. This one's 16 and this one's 40. So it's not gonna have the same item spacing if you do that. And that's why you will see the mix option down here. But I'm just gonna go ahead and undo that. I think 16 looks pretty clean. But for the section itself, I do think this works. Um, I, will, I will also say that with this section, I will want to add maybe a little bit of space on the right a bit. Um, so maybe we can do a right padding of like 5%. So we could have something that looks like that. And I think that looks pretty clean. The reason we are not applying this to this side again is because of this image here. We don't want to add the 5% padding because then we'll see the clipped shadow again and we don't want to do that. So we're just gonna add it to the right hand side and I still think that looks pretty clean. If we wanted to, we could even kind of stretch this out a little bit more to something like this, um, but I don't think that looks the cleanest. So we'll just go ahead and leave it how it was. Let's go ahead and move on to the next section. Here is where I would do things a little bit differently. So he placed containers and just kind of left them as they are. But what I would actually do, and I think this is actually easier if I just kind of show you in a brand new section, is so I'm gonna add a brand new section. Let's maybe make this about 800 pixels in height. Um, that might be a little bit too big. Let's do like 600 in height. I think that's a little bit more reasonable, but we might need to even make it a little bit larger for now temporarily. So I'm gonna set this to 700 and we'll just leave it at that and we can make it shorter if we need to later on. But what I want to do now is actually come over to the padding and I want to add 5% spacing and I want to apply that to all sides. So we'll just click this little apply to all sides icon here and you'll notice it applied the 5% padding on all sides of this section. And I think that looks pretty clean. Um, and then inside of this section, I just want to split this into two columns. So we'll just select the cell option here. And I think that looks clean. And I do want to have a little bit of a gap in between these cells because I don't want I don't want these boxes to basically be right up against each other. So what we're gonna do is with these sections selected, we're gonna come over to the gaps over here in the inspector panel. And I'm gonna set this to five VW and it kind of matches the spacing of our website as well. Um, but you can do something less if you want to, like if you just want to do like 24 pixels, you can do something like that. And then you can switch this over to VW for a responsive value. That will also work. But again, I'm just going to leave it as at five for now. And then what I want to do is simply just grab this container and we'll place it inside of the box and we'll go ahead and stretch it. So we'll now we'll have something that looks like this. But what I will say is for this box, or for this container, I do want to add a little bit of padding on the left, right, and top. We don't want to add it to the bottom because we want this image to literally be at the bottom. So what I'm gonna do first is actually grab this stack and I'm gonna unstack it. Then what I want to do is actually grab just these elements, the icon, the heading text and the paragraph text, and I'm gonna stack these. I'm not gonna stack anything else. And then what I want to do is I want to set this to be 100% width. So in the width, I'm just gonna put 100% and it's gonna automatically apply that for us. And then I'm also gonna make sure that our items are all aligned to the left. Perfect. And then with this icon here, let's go ahead and set the height to be like 64. Let's set the height and width to like 64. Even that might be a little bit too big. Maybe we can do like 48 and 48. 
I think that looks a lot cleaner. And let's just go ahead and lock the aspect ratio. That way it's always gonna remain a circle and the image doesn't get like messed up. And then we're gonna grab the stack itself and similar to what we did with this stack up here, we're just gonna switch this stack to be pixel value, we'll set it to 16. And then again, we can switch this over to a responsive value um, just for ease. So now that we have this stack complete, I'm also going to send it to the very top and we're going to grab the container. With the container, I want to head on over to the position area and we're going to add a little bit of padding. So if we select this inner box here, because right now the outer box is for margin, we don't want to do that. We actually want to add padding. So we'll select the inner box for padding and now we can actually add the padding. Um, let's see what like 5% does to the top. Um, that's okay, but let's see what 10 does. 10 might be a little bit too much. Yeah, let's do, let's do like seven. Uh, good, happy middle area there. And what we're gonna do is apply seven to the left top and the right. So now we should have something that looks like this. And I think that looks pretty clean. Now for this image here, I want to start by sending it to the left. And we're gonna make this the same width as the available space inside of it. And then we're gonna send this to the bottom. By sending it to the bottom, it's gonna remove the docking to the top, and now it's gonna be docked to the bottom. We can see that by the little blue dot here and the blue dot here. We can also see it's docked to the left. We don't really want to do that, so we can just click this to undock it. And now we should have something that looks like this. And we can also see on the right margin, there's like a 0.2%. We can just set this to zero. And now that we have that complete, what we can do is now grab the image and this text here. And we'll just go ahead and add this to the stack. Um, and just for fun, um, I do want to remove a little bit of the space here. So we'll make this a little bit like that. And then we can grab the section and we can actually remove the height here and it's gonna shrink it for us. And I think that looks really, really clean, just like that. And now all we need to do is do the same thing for this one over here. And then for this image, we're gonna be using this image right here. Now, what I will say is this image over here has different dimensions than this image over here. So we need to reset this image's dimensions by going into the settings and we'll reset the image dimensions just like that. And I think that looks really cool. And all I will do now is I will unstack these elements. I'm gonna grab this image, send it to the bottom, and then let's go ahead and grab all of these elements again and we'll restack them. So now we should have something that looks like this. Another thing I will say is for these text elements here, I might bump these up to like 34 just to be a little bit bigger. I think that looks just a little bit cleaner like that. Awesome. And finally, we have this section right down here. This one's gonna be a very simple fix in my opinion. All we need to really do is select the section and we're gonna add 5% to all sides. So again, we'll just lock it. I am going to remove it from the top one just because we have that 5% here, and then we don't need another five on the top of this one to make 10, that one doesn't really make much sense. But since we have five here and five here, if I just grab this container and we stretch it, now this content is now aligned up, lined up together and it looks really, really clean. And also I forgot, we can just go ahead and delete this section now because we have a working one here. Um, but, that's all we really need to do with this section. Um, I will say we'll fix the button and for this image, let's go ahead and adjust it. Uh, we'll make sure it is completely centered. We'll also make sure that the width of this, of this element is set to 100%. Centered, sent to the bottom and um, we'll make the box a little bit larger. So let's go ahead and grab the section. Let's do like 900 pixels for now. I think that looks good. 
Um, and then for this button, let's do the same settings that we had for the button up top. So for this text, we're gonna set it to 16 pixels, a bolder font, and we'll set the width to 129 and 46. Great. Now let's grab both of these elements and we'll stack them together. And all I want to do is with this margin, I want to add like six margin. I want to remove the spacing or the margin on the right. And then I want to dock it to the bottom. So that way, um, so that way this content never gets hidden behind this image. It should always look like that. Um, and actually, let's actually switch this over to a VW instead of a percentage. That way it's gonna be truly responsive. And then above, let's go ahead and do six VW um, as well. Um, but we will make sure it stays docked to the bottom. So now that is going to be how I fixed this area or fixed my friend's website. The only other thing I would maybe change here is let's go ahead and adjust the size of this section a little bit. And then maybe for this section, similar to why we didn't have the space on this one, let's just go ahead and remove the top margin over here. Perfect. So now if we go ahead and view the website, this is, would be the fixed version of my friend's website. And I think that looks really, really clean. But that's basically gonna wrap it up for today's video. If you all did enjoy, please consider giving this video a like and subscribing to the channel for more Wix and Wix Studio content coming out really soon. Thank you all again, and I will see you all in the next one.